And and that's the big story of of this last year and this year is and ongoing is the fact that if you want to talk about science, you have to go through this big other called the science, right? And this the science versus science is the big story that we're all dealing with. Right. Me- and the problem is there's only the science. There's no science, right? And so the thing is when people think about uh, and and partly this is due to an excess of of sort of libertarian and even democratic ideology is people think that the alternative to the science um is basically, you know, whatever you heard on Joe Rogan last week or something. And no, actually, if you want there to be science as opposed to the science, that doesn't just happen, right? That's not just a thing of like, oh, yeah, I really have this like expert with this cool website I like and I buy supplements and they they totally, you know, make my dick hard, you know, like, I mean, and, and that's sort of the quality of what's really sad here is that you're putting essentially you have this situation, which is very common in conflicts where to a certain extent, each side is right about the other. And so, you know, you have this situation where you look at, you know, basically what, um, you know, the, you know, the, the, the professors and the, you know, the big shots at Harvard have managed to come up with. And you're just like, wow, you guys really just screwed the fucking pooch. And, and they did. And yet you have nothing really worthy of mention to set against that. You have only random individuals who may randomly occasionally be right, but you don't have any power that you're creating to set against it. And so, you know, that lack of understanding that essentially only institutions and organizations can have power, that there's no like, oh, we're going to give science back to the people. And, you know, is is there's no such thing as populist science. It's ridiculous. It's a contradiction in terms. And and so when you basically this is a symptom of the larger problem that when you essentially put when you say, to you know, Aristotle, uh, you know, identified three basically systems of government, monarchy, rule of the one, oligarchy, rule of the few, democracy, rule of the many. Um, When we translate those into modern political English, instead of monarchy, oligarchy, democracy, we say dictatorship, democracy, populism, right? So essentially, when your only opponent for, for oligarchy, or as we call it, democracy, is democracy, or as we call it, populism, you're essentially saying, okay, here, I have this other way of governing, which is better than your way of governing. And, you know, if that's not true, (laughs) you're really kind of shooting yourself in the foot, because you're essentially saying the alternative to oligarchy, the alternative to the rule of these experts who happen to have become really just fatally, literally fatally corrupted by their own, the structure of their own oligarchy and the perverse incentives that it creates, the alternative to this is populism. And the alternative to this is basically, um, you know, whatever get, gets the most shares on Facebook is going to prevail. Okay, that's populism. You want real populism? Hold a Facebook election, right? You know, and Facebook can, you know, I, I, th- I think Facebook at this point is probably better at identifying unique uh, individuals than the state of Georgia. Um, and uh, I don't know about Florida, but, you know, I, I, I uh, you know, if, if I were trying to trust who can, who can identify the bots better, I might go with Facebook, right? But um, um, in any case, if you're only ex- you know if your only replacement for Dr. Fauci and Peter Dazak and Shang Li uh, and and Batwoman and you know like if your only replacement for this system is let's have a Facebook election to see if vaccines will make our noses fall off um you're really like you're batting you're batting zero you're going to continue to bat zero you basically you know, you're only pretending to have a solution. And in fact, what you're doing is you're essentially reinforcing the propaganda that says, wow, you know, the rule of these experts is is sort of the only way. So when you basically take those two approaches, one is let's fix this system in some way or another. And the other is let's replace it 
with, uh, you know, I really can't imagine a society much less suited to democracy than the one we live in. That is much less suited to populism. Um, you know, populism is most effective when you have a homogenous population, when you have a virtuous population, when you have a well-educated population, when you have finally a, an aggressive population, a population that's basically not, you know, whatever the uh, you know, a passionate population, whatever the opposite of apathetic is. And if you look at all of those bars, we're sitting down there, you know, near zero next to like the Romans of like 300 AD, right? You know, and, and so if populism in the leadership of the many over the few and the one is really going to be your thing, you're basically taking something that doesn't work and you're saying, well, the only, you know, which is, you know, the rule of Fauci, Dazak, and Batwoman, and you're saying, well, my only alternative to this thing is something that seems much more improbable that has basically never historically worked that, you know, even the founders were, you know, extremely suspicious of. Um, and so you're essentially leading your fellow prisoners back into the trap because you're leading them down what seems to be an escape route, but is in fact a box canyon.